Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with the sixth and last part of my painting job on Low and Lencore. So in that part I will cover the cloak, the painting of the cloak and the painting of the man banner mainly, some other details and the final assembly on the hippogriff. If you are interested in the other parts, you can click on the box and then you will go to the playlist where I have put all the different parts in a one playlist in order that the people can follow the different painting and assembly work that I did on that miniature. Now let's continue with this video. So as for the cloak, I decided to go for a dark red. And as I've been doing for all the miniature, I apply a base color of con red and then I did a wash with Agrax air shade. So as you can see, I completely wash both sides of the cloak and then you have to leave it dry. And when the wash is completely dry, then I clean the wash using con red again, leaving all the crevices on dark color and painting all the highlights with Conrad. I also paint the arms before gluing on to the miniature. So as a the rest of the armor I apply a black base and then I paint them with Rumfang steel. I also paint the different parts uh, in red with con red, as you see the background of the shield, also the small shield on the arm with the sword, and this ribbon. And I wash the armor place using noon oil. And as in the cloak, all the red is washed with Agrax air shade. Then continue with the cloak, I start painting all the details using Yanden Dark Sun. Here you see that I also paint the other side of the cloak, the, the different symbols and the different decoration that the cloak have using Yanden Dark Sun. I also use Yanden Dark Sun for the small things that are hanging from the rope on the top of the cloak that will go later on with the vault. And I also paint using the dark sand, the small ships on the reins and all the border of the shield as this part will go in gold. I decide to highlight the cloak using blood red as I did with the rest of the miniature. And then to have a different color that is contrasting a little bit, I use Camry Brown for the small rope that have at the top of the cloak, where some decoration is holding on. And as I explained before, I apply Auric Armor Gold on the border of the shield and also on the small decoration that the rope have. I decide to paint the border of the cloak using yellow dark sand and I will do later on some strips on red as I have on the part of the horse. Here you can see when I did the red strips on, on the border. And at that point I glued the arm that is holding the reins on the miniature because I observe that was not matching perfectly and I will need to add some a little bit of green stuff and repaint a little bit so I decide that now that the basic paint the basic colors are applied I will glue it and then I will paint I will finalize the painting on that arm I also had to paint some small decorations that I have on the scarf of the sod so I use as in other parts Gehenna, Gehenna's gold and then later on I will use Auric Armor gold. This is a closer picture after applying Gehenna's gold on the small decoration on the scarf of the sod. 
The same is happening with the scarf of the dagger, dagger holding on the other side of the knight. And as I did in all, all the gold parts, then I play Auric Armor Gold and finally I do a wash with Seraphim Sepia. Then to highlight the brown on the scarf of the sword and the dagger, I use a mixture of XV88 and Flate 1 Flesh. And I use a mixture of Morphang Brown and Screaming Skull for the small bugs that have on the belt. And in the picture I want to show you after doing the highlights on the different leather decoration like scarf and also the small bugs that the knight have at the area of the belt. As I explained before, the junction between the arm and the the reins on the arm and the reins on the miniature was not perfect. So I had to apply a little bit of vinyl stuff and then on top of that I have to repaint the reins. So I have to use again con red and then later on I will highlight with blood red. This is the picture of the reins from the other side. As you can see here, you can still see a little bit of green stuff because this area is being worked right now. On the small shields that you see on the reins, I apply golden yellow and then I highlight them using using dawn yellow. As you can see in the picture, sometimes it doesn't need to highlight all the border of the detail. In that case, I only highlight two of the three edges of the shield, of the small shields on the reins. As I explained before, these are the two colors I use for the small shields on the rain. Golden yellow and then the edge highlight with darn yellow. I did the same on the board on the edge of the cloak and on the small decoration on the middle of the cloak. First I apply golden yellow and later on I will do some highlight with dawn yellow. And as I, was, I saw that the red was too bright, I decided to apply a little bit of corn red at the middle of the red strips. I also did another small wash around the golden parts and the brown drop to have better contrast with the cloak and this is the result, the end result on the cloak. As in the rest of the miniature, I didn't want to use oranges or pinkish colors to highlight the red. I want to stop the highlights on blood red. And this is another view of the cloak. At that point, I decided to glue the cloak with the rest of the miniature. I have I have to say here that I have to force a little bit the knight and unglue it a little bit to be able to fit the cloak perfectly. This is another view how it's looking like after gluing the cloak. At that point, the only two parts pending to finalize was the right arm with the sword and the lance with the banner. So for the sword, I, I also paint it with room funk steel. Then I did a white using a sermon blue. While the white was drying on the sword, I white in, I prime in white the spear and the banner. Continuing the work on the sword, what I did here is first I paint all the details again using Yander Darsan and then I use Auric Armor, Gold Auric Armor to do the gold parts. And I decide to glue the sword to the rest of the miniature because at that point it was easier to paint it, glue it. After looking at the different details and, and the color scheme of the rest of the miniature, I decide to paint in black the spear because I want to have good contrast with the other details that I have here 
and I didn't want to use red because the banner, the base color for the banner is red. And here is, I paint the banner using corn red. I paint the different decoration on the spear using Yander Darsan. And then as, if you can see in the banner, I did small marks on yellow because I was calculating where to do the yellow lines. And this is after doing the freehand on the banner and applying the basic color. So I decided to do a freehand of this type of lion from the Middle Age heraldy, uh, similar to the heraldy that the knight is half on the shield and on the, all the different parts. And then half of the banner will have these lines on red and yellow. This is the other side of the banner just after applying Yander Darsan and doing the free hand. Then to give a little bit more of, of volume to the lion and the lines, I decide to highlight all the borders using dark yellow. Here a picture from the other side after doing the same operation. So I just apply, uh, I uh, just highlight the borders using dark yellow. And to finalize the the banner, here I did two steps. First, the middle of the lines are painted with golden yellow, and then I also use blood red to paint the red parts, leaving the border with the darker red. This same step, other side of the banner. Sorry, sometimes I'm jumping from one part to another of the miniature, but I do this just because sometimes I'm waiting a part to be dry or just because I want to do another detail and then I jump from one part of to another of the painting. So, but here what I want to show is that I did a wash with seraphine sepia on all the gold parts on the right arm. This is a closer picture. This is a from view how the miniature is looking like at this moment. And this is the picture after applying gold and yellow on all the red yellow lines. I also use this to clean when I paint by mistake some parts that are not needed with raw, uh, with darn yellow. And here the picture from the other side of the banner. You also can see that at this stage I also paint the peak of the spear using room fan steel. Okay, and this is after gluing everything together. So this the, here the miniature is almost finished. After this point, I just was doing some fine touches. So some of the fine touches I did is I highlight a little bit more the gold parts on the right arm using the same type of mixture I use for all the gold parts of the rider, just mixing run fan steel with auric uh, gold auric armor. I use Agax hair shade just on the on the small details on the border of the golden border of this of the shield to have even deeper um, to make deeper the marks on on this area. And then I highlight also the black um, part of of the spear using first Adeptus Battle Grey. And then I did a very thin highlight with Fortress Grey. On the gold parts of the spear, I apply the same methodology of in all the other gold parts of this miniature. So after applying Yander Dark Sun, I apply Auric Armor Gold on top of that, and then I did a white on Seraphine Sepia. And I also apply the, the same mixture I used to highlight the gold parts of the sword. I apply a little bit to highlight this floor de lis and the small shields on gold that have the spear. So, and it's all for this miniature. So here, I think I conc I conc I'm concluding the tutorial 
and all the work in progress on, on the painting work on low and length core. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope this tutorial is a little bit long but has been useful for you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again later. Bye.